one way to get more signs, one way to get more uh, information from the universe. For those of you that are impatient, I will just tell it to you straight up. Go set up a clock in your house, your apartment, wherever. That's always on the wrong time, right? That, that clock no longer is here for time. It's here to just say, are there any messages in my inbox from the universe, essentially, right? So now that you have that, I will tell you some background story and then we'll build back up to it. I talk about, for those of you that are new to my channel, like I talk about that in Charlotte, um, when I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, those were my dark ages. I was going through a lot, depression, anxiety, all that type of stuff. I was in a very low vibratory state. And um, when I was trying to get up out of that state, you know, I was very much studying psychology, sociology, all these things that just taught me how humans operate. And, but I just knew there was more because it's like, okay, yeah, this is simple. You say this, do this, they, they, their body language will tell you this, blah, blah, blah. It's mad simple. But I know there's more. So on a board night, I was clicking around, blah, blah, blah. And I found like someone that was talking about angel numbers. Now, the algorithm, there's no way that the algorithm should have got me to that point. You know, I had never searched in the spiritual world. I didn't know there was a spiritual world yet. But then I clicked on that one and I started to get all these numbers. They talk about the 9-11s, 11-11s. I was like, huh, that's interesting. So then after this, I started seeing them a lot more often. Like, whoa, something's going on here. There's something big going on. And that's what got me to research it. That's what eventually led me into numerology, right? Numerology is just a study of numbers. And all these numbers that we see are strictly information from the universe. If you keep seeing a time, that's called that. That's what another reason is called synchronicity. You were synchronized to that frequency. So when you keep seeing the 11 11, the 222, 333, 444, whatever the number that you keep seeing, it could be 325, whatever number you keep seeing, that's information that the universe is trying to send to you. And it's saying, okay, either you can just innately know this or go look this up, you know, go find that information that you need, right? So that's why I say turn on a clock. While I was getting really big into this numerology and this angel number stuff, you know, I was really just, uh, we had a power outage, right? That's what happened. We had a power outage. And I was too, like, mopey and depressed when the power came back on to even bother fixing my clock, right? And it was in my kitchen. And it was just blinking. You know how, like, when there's a power outage and it comes back on, it's just blinking. And it's just a blinking a different time and whatever. That's what was going on. So I started learning about the 9-11s and the 11-11s. And, like, I remember I used to have, like, very, like, passionate conversations with my my uh my guardian angels who i became more comfortable with at the time and i was like yo i need information yo i need help it's like i'm tired of feeling like this i don't know why i feel like this help me guide me towards something show me that you're here now quick side note like um like when i was uh used to talk to my guardian angels a lot like my my i used to get goosebumps and my hairs would stand up on my arm every time and like it felt like they were like in my face like that's how close they were to me but then also when I started to have a lot of these conversations, I started to look at that clock a lot more. My eyes were always drawn to that clock. And I started seeing 11, 11 and 9, 11 all the time. So that's what showed me that something is going on here. I was like, wait a minute, there's something bigger. Every time I start talking to them, I see that. But it could be the same for you. When you start to see a depressing, when you start to get all depressed and stuff like that, you might be minding your own business. You might see 666. 666 means you need to make a drastic change in your life. You need to change up some stuff in your life. It's not this demon number, oh, Satan, blah, blah, blah. There's also a whole bunch of different uh, uh, interpretations of 666. But that's just another one in numerology standpoint, all right? But that's what you need to understand. Now, when it comes to manifestation, when it comes to opening this channel for information for yourself, you need to understand that you can't go stare at that clock all day expecting something every time. Like I said, you're just checking your inbox. Sometimes you get mail, sometimes you don't. Don't try to force it. Don't stand at the mailbox waiting for the, the, the mailman to come through. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because all you're doing is you're, op you're infringing at a, uh, you're, you're causing an energetic inertia at higher levels, in the higher dimensions. Let me give you a simple example. Let me use my mom for this one. When I was getting her on the health kick, I was teaching her about how to make sea moss gel. And for those of you that don't know anything about sea moss, sea moss gives you a 92 of the 102 nutrients that your body needs. So it's very nutrient dense. It's a little, it's a little sea tasting, but you'll work it out. And go look at plenty of videos on that. But I was, I was showing her how to blend it up and make the gel so she can put it in like smoothies and stuff like that. And as I was making it, you know, I was like, okay, so you put a little bit in here, you put some water in here, and then you blend it up. She said, but, but is that too much? Is that mom who's been making this for the past few months? Let me just, just let me show you. Oh, okay. But don't you think you should put a little bit of it? Mom, 
Okay, so that's what you're doing at the higher levels. That's what you're doing to the universe. That's what you're doing to God, source, blah, 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 whatever you choose to call it, right? Like they up there cooking it up for you. All right, he wants a new car, right? He wants a new car. All right, let me just make this. Let me put a little bit of this little information. Um, God, God, um, do you think that you need to put that in there? God's going to look at you like, yo, you're going to ask me. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, right, you're right. All right, let's see. We're going to put a little bit of this. But God, God, why are you putting that in there? Yo, stop. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's what's going on. That's that inertia. Put your hand in the river, right? The river is flowing. You know, and you put your hand in, you feel the water build up against you. Instead of the water just flowing freely, you're getting in the way with you constantly giving your attention and staring at it, waiting for it to materialize, that you may just be looking at the wrong avenue. You might be looking at the, the wrong stream of, of the universal river, if you will, coming into your life. You could have completely missed it and you didn't claim it in your own life. You missed it. You see what I'm saying? You're causing an energetic inertia. So when I say make this uh, uh like make this clock a wrong time, I'm not saying like every single day, it's not giving me the signs, it's not working. You're just creating another thing so information can come to you, you know? You know, I understand like I'm kind of contradicting with that one, but like you just, you just like, hey, look, if there's something that I need to see, just give it to me there. I'm not gonna stare at this, but if it were to work, there you go, it's there. And that's all I'm gonna say, <laughs> you know? You're not trying to like meddle with the actual uh, manifestation of that information or your actual manifestations. Because for me, even to this day, like when I, uh, I was recording this, like I looked at the clock, it was 922. When, when I see the numbers like 22, and I've been talking about this in a few videos, and 22 is the ma master builder number. You know, your deepest desires, your deepest dreams are starting to become reality. I've been seeing a lot more 9-11s, 11-11s. This is the same thing that happened when I wanted to move to Denver. And like all this type of stuff that was happening in my life, I was like, yo, the same thing is happening for me right now. And this is just something I wanted to, uh, you know, push on to y'all. But here you go. Try this. You know, once again, if it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, if you can't stand that the clock is not on the wrong or the right time, then it's the same for you, you know. But this is just another way to get some extra information from the universe. Hope you try this out. Hope it works for you. To the next one.